All right, collective, let's get into a reading. Interesting, I'm hearing a song and I heard the lyric, she said she won't, but I bet she will. So there could be something where you've placed a boundary. You put your foot down. You said, I'm not doing that. I'm no longer giving into this. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing blah, 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 blah. Whoever you set that boundary with though, that person could be like, yeah, you say you won't, but you'll be back. You will. You'll, that's kind of what I'm getting. Let's see what's going to be coming out. Friendly reminder, I have personal readings, one-on-one -on -one sessions. I also have a Patreon. I have a Pinterest, an Instagram. I think I'm missing something. Probably am. Okay. Yep. Someone's in regret. Someone's in regret. You could be showing up in a way that you've never had before. You could be trying new things, trying new foods, trying all kinds of new things. Okay. <laughs> that could be in more ways than one because they're showing me um, sexual things as well. So some of you could be trying new things sexually. If you've got a partner, it could be possible. But for a lot of you, you don't have a partner. Okay, so this person that we're bringing in, they feel remorse <clears throat> because they didn't want to change their ways. Some of you could have tried to change this person or you could have tried to talk this person into giving to you. Let me prove to you why you should give to me. Let me be patient. Let me be strategic. Some of you could have done that. Okay, well, you said you don't want to be with me anymore. So let me still send you gifts on your birthday. Still reach out to you, see how you've been. That could have been you showing up in a karmic energy. Just going to let you know. Now, whoever we're bringing in, it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It doesn't have to be. This person, though, didn't want to change their ways. They felt that they were fine. There, there's nothing wrong with them. That's how they felt. <clears throat> I don't need to change anything. I don't, need, I don't need to do that. You're expecting a lot from me, okay? That's kind of what I'm getting. I feel like this person has noticed recently that you've quit changing. You've quit changing. You've quit chasing them. You've changed. You've changed and they've noticed. For some of you, this person feels the reason that you've changed is because you put yourself into a new beginning to prove a point to them. So this could be someone who's like, yeah, well, you moved in with him or her because you wanted to prove a point to me. You started that business or you went to school so you could prove a point to me. This could be someone who's like, yeah, you quit chasing. I've noticed. You've changed. I've noticed. But it's to prove a point to me. That could be how this person perceives you. <clears throat> this person here recently has noticed emotions they once did not notice. Because I keep hearing, well, I don't feel anything for you. I don't care. You just want me to do A, B, C, or D. You just want to be controlling. But what this person's recognizing is that they're really discontent. They're not happy. They're not fulfilled. And they feel that there's something missing. And what they're saying missing is that they are wanting something to flourish in a way in their life where they can feel fulfilled, where it gives them purpose. You know, some people, when they get married, that spouse gives them purpose and it gives them like a fire under their ass. Some people are like that with children or animals or like moving, getting a new career. That's how I feel that this person is right now. They're like, you know, I need something in my life that gives me purpose. I need something that gives me fire, that really makes me want to show up and conquer. And what they're starting to recognize is that everything, everyone, every opportunity that they have been offered that could have got them there, they have rejected. They have looked at it and been like, oh, you want to change me. Do they want to change you or do they want to make you better? Do they want to help you evolve and grow? Because this person could have took things very personally when it wasn't personal, okay? This person could have even been like, I don't care if you leave. Leave. Again, remember that energy? Well, you're just trying to prove a point to me. You're just, you're just trying to make it seem like it's great, but it's not great. What this person's not recognizing is that you have completely rebirthed. Who they knew you as and who you are today are two different people. Okay, two different people. <clears throat> Some of you could run into this person at a school or near a school. Somebody could run into this person during collaboration. So 
let's say sports. Your kid's on a sports team, their kid's on a sports team. We run into each other at the sports game. There could be some sort of collaboration where you work at the same company, they work at the same company. We have to go to the summer barbecue. We're both here. There could be something like that that's gonna take place. This person feels like you've really balanced yourself out. They feel like you've tempered the sides of you that were maybe once impulsive out there. They feel like you're very grounded and stable, <clears throat> but they also feel like you're a little out of reach. Oh, wow. This person sees you as the person who had the strength and the courage to bring an ending that they didn't want to end, that they didn't want to happen. You could have not wanted this ending to happen. You could have even been unsure. <clears throat> Is this what's right for me? Does this make sense? It's like you had to come to peace with your choices. So you've got someone on your hands where you quit chasing them. You've quit reaching out. You've quit trying to drive by their house. You've quit trying to run into them. You've quit sending them gifts. You know, th there is no ghost of you anywhere around. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Why? Because you've went through a rebirth. You have completely rebirthed yourself and you've recognized that you've went through a doorway and that doorway leads to a new beginning. This person's not it. <clears throat> Both of you could view each other as karmics. You can view this person as a karmic. They could view you as a karmic. They view you as a karmic because they feel like you're showing up in a way that you never have, but they feel like the reason you're doing that is to be a butt or to prove a point. You're only dating so-and-so because you want to make me jealous. You're only doing good in that business because you didn't do good in that business when I was around. It's a little bit of like, yeah, you proved a point when I wasn't there no more, didn't you? But you also view this person as a karmic along the lines of you want it your way, no way, so much so that if it ha if you have to change, grow, or evolve, you'll dip out before you do that. That's how you view this person. Heaven forbid we put a mirror up to your face and let you see who you truly are. You might run. That's how you see this person. <clears throat> now, what they're recognizing is that they're not necessarily happy. They're very discontent. They could be feeling really bored. They could be feeling like everything they're putting their time, their energy, their effort into is growing, but it's growing so slow, it's driving them insane. And they're not happy. They're not happy at all. And everything that would have brought that fulfillment, that would have brought that happiness, they pushed out, they've rejected, they've let go of. So this person could have pushed you out or rejected you. But I see you having the strength and the courage to go towards new collaborations. Don't be surprised if you run into this person. This person could be having a lot of indecisiveness about the past. So when they think about the past, it's like as soon as they think they know it for what it is, some sort of new wisdom comes in. Some sort of new truth comes in. This could be someone who's watching YouTube. They could be watching TV. They could be listening to a song. And it's like, I know this relationship is what I know it to be. But then something happens and they're like, wait a second, do I know that to be the truth? There's always new wisdom coming in so they can change their perspective. So whoever this is, they're still kind of going over the past while you are more in an approach of, I want peace. I want groundedness. I want balance. And if I need to have the strength and the courage to bring an ending, an ending that I don't want to bring, but an ending that I know that needs to happen, it's got to happen. And if you can't do it, I'll do it. That's your energy. I see you having new collaborations. So some of you could be meeting new friends. You could be dating multiple people or getting to know multiple people. You could be um, doing like business collaborations. I see that happening in your life as well. Okay, so why is this person coming in? What does this person want you to know? What does this person want you to know? <clears throat> I just heard that I'm trying. This person could be taking a lot of impulsive action here coming up around their, their house, their home. This could be you, but this could also be them. They could be taking a lot of impulsive action in their home around their home, around their career, around their family. <clears throat> okay, so what they want you to know is that they feel like they're doing what they need to do. 
They know that you might not understand it. They know that you might not agree with it. They know that you might view them as a karmic who doesn't want to change their ways, who doesn't want to compromise, who's just being a pain in the butt. Again, they feel like you're being a little bit of a pain in the butt too. But what you're not recognizing is that per this person is making big moves in their life right now. Now, some of these moves are impulsive. But their focus is their, fi their, their finances, their home life. So they could be trying to pay off a home, trying to pay off a car. They could be trying to switch jobs or get to a different place in their job or get to a certain status in their job or a certain finance level in their job. I am seeing, though, that this person, there's two things. This person doesn't want this to be over between you two, but they also know right now, in this moment, you guys are not gonna be able to get on the same page because at this moment, they have to do what's best for them and you're gonna perceive that as them stepping on your toes or them backstabbing you. Now again, I don't see this person making huge changes to come in and sweep you off your feet. I see this person doing what they need to do in their life to get them to where they want. I see that they don't want this to end, but I also do not see any action being taken. I see them being very aware that even if they came in and they were honest, that it might not make a difference, that they still have to do what they need to do and that you still might perceive it as, then why are you here? Why did you come in to say, hey, I can't choose you? Why did you come in to say, yo, I want to be with you in five years, just not today? What was the point of this conversation? They know that that's how you're gonna show up. Again, thinking a lot about the past. Again, feeling really guarded and defensive around ending something possibly, letting something go possibly. They could have some sort of secret. This person could have some sort of secret and they don't wanna bring it into it. This could be dating other people, this could be entertaining other people, or this could be them being strategic in their life in a way where they feel like if they're strategic enough, it's gonna pay off, but they don't want you to know because that's a secret. Something's gonna happen in divine timing where they're gonna be ready for a change, a transformation, but you're going to be at a place, it's like you guys are going to switch energies. That's what's going to happen. When they finally get ready to come in and tell you everything that's happened and where they want this to go, you're then going to be in the energy of love doesn't interest me. I'm giving up on love because love's given up on me. That's going to be your energy when they come in. They're going to be ready to be a partner. They're going to be ready to bring something to the table. This is what I have to offer you. And it's gonna be coming in divine timing. I feel like it's gonna come out of nowhere for you, but I also feel like there's gonna be a part of you that's gonna say, well, is this a red flag or is this a green flag? Is it a red flag that now that I have completely cut myself off to this, it's all of a sudden coming in? Or is this a green flag because that's showing me that it's still meant for me? For each of you, you're gonna to have to ask yourself that question. I am seeing though, some of you are really going to be unhappy around the fact that this person wants to come in and take this to the Ten of Cups when they didn't, you feel that they didn't see potential in the past. If you had to chase this person, that tells me right off the bat that they didn't see potential or they seen potential and they ran from it. So in your mind, you've seen them as everything. You've seen them as the end goal. So when they come back, there's going to be a part of you that's really unsure if you should believe in this. Is this a blessing? Because now you're coming in, but I thought this was over. Are you coming in because you're discontent? Are you coming in because you've seen that what you've wanted to grow hasn't grown? So now all of a sudden I'm the best option. Each of you is going to feel a different way when they come in. So I'm going to say it once, I'll say it again. They're not coming in today. They will be coming in in the future after taking some sort of necessary action in their personal life to get them to where they want to go. This has everything to do with finances and their home. But when they finally come in, you're going to be so emotionally detached or uninvested or at a place where you don't even want love anymore. Maybe it's going to be the year that you've decided not to date. The year you decided not to date is the year they want to come in. It's going to be something like that that's then going to make you question why. 
And if true celebration, happiness, and fulfillment here is possible, okay? <clears throat> see, I see you being unsure. Is this person a team player? Can they bring stability to the table? You might need to recognize that this new beginning could end up bringing more burden to you than blessings. So it could just be a question that you're always gonna ask yourself. Okay, someone here could be asking for support or help. So this person could be getting into therapy. They could be asking for help from their friends or people like that. There's going to be a lot of chemistry here. There's going to be a lot of playfulness, but you also need to keep an open mind. This relationship might not turn out the way that you expect or the way that you want. So keep an open mind if you decide to invest with this person. If you have this fantasy reality of, oh, you're going to sweep me off my feet. We're going to be in love. We're going to do A, B, C, or D. We're going to buy the white house with the white cars. We're going to do all of this. It might unfold very differently. You might have a lot of um, uneasy feelings when you first go into it. You might really have a lot of regret and sadness that you're going to have to get over. And there could be some days where it's going to really burden you to think about the fact that this person did what they needed to do, which was in their best interest, but you could feel really conflicted by that. And for each of you, that's going to be different. You might think that they didn't have to do that at all. Some of you were going to think, well, I wouldn't do that. So why did you do that? Well, I don't agree with that. You could have done both. There is going to be something like that here. And I think you just need to recognize that there is a reason this person had kind of their wall and their defenses up. It's because they knew that you weren't going to understand. They knew that you might question or analyze their actions and they didn't want that. They just wanted to do what they needed to do to get through it. Now, are you going to bring regret and sadness and disappointment into the new aspect of this relationship and let it affect it? Or are you going to be able to completely leave it behind? Because what the future looks like is going to be so different than what you want or expect. It might be hard for you to kind of settle into it. So be aware of that, okay? Now, I am seeing when they come in, it could be a lot of fun. You guys could play together, have a lot of fun, really connect. But then there's also going to be heavy emotion you're going to have to resolve and get through. And that might be hard for you. You might feel really burdened. You might feel really overwhelmed. You might even regret saying, yes, I want you back. Because the work might be more than what you expected. But at the end of the day, is this person worth it to you? That's the question. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to leave it here. See you soon.